we have another major leak that just happened. We have the season two Daryl Dixon trailer that was like blasted all over Reddit. So we're gonna do the only honorable thing possible and we're gonna break the whole thing down. So as you can imagine, a lot of it is just all about Carol. In my uh, Comic-Con panel breakdown, we found out that the second season is gonna have a subheader called Book of Carol, which that is a wild name. But spoilers for the finale, if you don't bookmark this, save it for later and come back to it. But I don't think you'll, it'll, it won't ruin the finale in my opinion. We do know that Laurent and Isabel do not die because they are in fact in the trailer and they've got had a really strong reception from the fans. I, I really like both of them. So I don't think either one of them are actually gonna die anytime soon, knock on wood. So we have a voiceover of Daryl. I don't know if this is the place I'm supposed to be. Thinking about all the people I left behind. Wondering if they're still thinking about me. And I kind of feel like hearing the tone of Daryl talking, I feel like Daryl is actually praying for some reason. He's very conflicted. Like, again, from the Comic-Con panel, they said that Daryl is conflicted about this maybe being a place that he would want to, to stay at for some length of time. Oh, it's first season, I mean, is all about religion. I mean, he literally shows up in a convent and becomes friends with a nun. And I think that this is him praying to God, maybe, about what he's been through, him being conflicted. Because he is kind of whispering, and I don't, that or he's whispering to someone else, but I'm, I'm gonna guess the praying part. You know, and we see shots of Daryl in a big field. We see Isabel and Laurent that I'm guessing that they're still at the nest, maybe. They're in some building. They're in like, they look uh, hopeful, maybe. And apparently, Carol knows how to drive a motorcycle. I feel like that's never been mentioned in the show, but okay. And we see shots of Carol driving on the motorcycle. So again, how did Carol get to France? You can't drive a motorcycle across the river. Did she put his motorcycle on a boat because last we saw in episode five, Daryl's motorcycle was in the back of a truck with somebody and along with his crossbow. And she has the crossbow and we see shots of her back at that little auto place gas station and all the guys were recruiting uh, the zombies. And we have shots of Carol speaking to a man and he asks her, would you give up everything to look for someone you haven't even met? And Carol's response is, if there is hope of finding them alive, yes. So my guess from this whole trailer is that we're probably gonna get like the opener of season two. If not a complete episode of only Carol, it's gonna be incredibly Carol heavy. But it would be nice to get like one full episode to see like her travels maybe. You know, Daryl stays in France and the nest has some sort of attack that happens. I don't know all the details. I haven't looked into it too much. And then we've got shots of like Team France family where they're walking in with Daryl. They've got guns and they're like, I'm assuming they're looking, maybe they're looking for Carol. H how did he know that she was there? Are they going to like defend the nest against this attack? Something like something is going down. Probably like maybe two to three episodes, then they'll reunite and have like the big, their big thing. So this shot of Daryl is probably not going to be him looking for Carol. It's probably going to be dealing with whatever attack happened in the previous season. We get a shot of Carol. She's in a car and she's closing a sunroof. And if you look at the walkers there, and I'm wondering where the heck is this place? Because I can't really tell, it's not identifiable. And in the background, there's like stairs and a van and all this stuff. So maybe she ran into some random place and got stuck and like bogged down. We have a shot of her in the car and you just see like spatters of blood, like all over the outside and she's like trapped in this car. And I tried to slow it down and like the spatters of blood, it looks like someone is like hitting the zombies or shooting the zombies to make them splatter. I'm not exactly sure what is going on, but somebody is outside this car that is not a walker and they're messing with, um, they're messing with the zombies. For sure. So is Carol, did she just run into a horde? Has she like seen any of the variants yet? Or is she running from some people and this is where she got stuck at? Lots of questions. So interesting. I'm interested, okay? I'll be honest, I, I like Carol, but I was excited to see Daryl like take off on his own and do something by himself you know, at least for a while or something, right? Like, I feel like everything Daryl Dixon does is for his family. He doesn't really do anything for himself. And it would be nice for this guy to like figure out his life. Like, who is Daryl? 
outside of the family, right? Maybe we, maybe we can still kind of see that. You know, it would be nice if Carol and Daryl could exist without being like, like attached at the hip, if that makes sense. It'd be nice for them to like stand on their own as like two complete characters again. I'm just saying. And I have a video here breaking down Norman Reedus, Scott Gibble at the New York Comic Con talking about the the whole season of the show. Get caught up on more Daryl Dixon here. Who came back? Do you know? Let me know because I want to know. And subscribe and I'll see you for the finale.